Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Greetings! Please, take your time looking about. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Hogsmeade, here I come. come on, Rebellion! How do you leave here alive? Lumos! Yourself, though. Let's have you. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you, don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really. That it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available?
Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. But your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. Always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Revelio. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. Revelio. Uh. Uh, hope you're not here for a knot grass sprig, because I'm not entirely sure I have them in stock. Rebellion. Revelio.
What are you up to now? Perhaps a hybrid. Both. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Greenhouse won't keep itself in order without a nudge from me. You can't imagine
If it isn't the treasure. Alohomora. Alohomora. Rebellion. Rebellion. Finite. Rebellion. Tell me. Whisper's in my ear. I won't be upset. 
How could I raise an eyebrow to you of anything other than pure joy? Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beef? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? 
This way, the nasals are over here. Oh, couple of nasal whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> Stupid thing. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Tusk, tusk, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. A happy beast is a giving beast. That's what Professor Howen always says, at least. If we treat them well, they'll treat us well. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm, an optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. You need something, Poppy. Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. 
Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly. You can feed Russia if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. What did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, 
Hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Revelio.
sink like a stone. Revelio. What are you up to now? Rebellion. Why did I never learn how to swim? Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people. Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in the Crossed Ones Club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. What is it about the Mer people that interests you so much? Oh, I can't begin to tell you how brilliant they are. I mean, rumor is that tales about them have infiltrated even the Muggle world. The oldest known Mer people, Sirens, come from Greece. And of course, Scotland has Selkies and Ireland is home to Merrows. I could go on for ages about them. Their glorious underwater communities, domestication of sea life, their art and music. It's a travesty how little is understood about them. What do you imagine a liaison to the Mer people would do? Oh, so many things. I want to know everything I can about them. After I've mastered swimming, I perfect my mermish, of course. And I'd share with them anything they wanted to know about wizard kind. My hope is that by understanding each other better, both of our societies could grow. How has wizard kind fallen short in its treatment of mer people? Well, we've consistently deigned mer people as being beneath us despite the many similarities between our cultures. One can hardly blame them for declining being status by the ministry years ago. Who are we to classify those of such beauty and intelligence? Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you! The last thing I want is for them to think I'd shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. Look at this place. Did the Mer people really leave Narada an artifact? Lumos. Good for you. Now then, I'll need you to come with me. 
Now for the rest of you. Kundrigo! Lumos! Lumos. What do we have in here then? Narada will be happy about this. Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news! I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. Then I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. Merlin's beard! It's marvelous! I'm going to show it to everyone, including the Ministry! Should I hand deliver or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. I can't wait to study this. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? 